Hey, it's Yourself from Blue Chip IT here. So for everyone who's keeping up with V20 and the latest updates, Stun will not be supported in the future. So 3CX have rec recommended using a session border control on SVC for any instances which have desk phones on site connecting to 3CX in the cloud. Now, if you don't know what the function of the SVC is, you can find some links in the description in the description pointing you to the article we, which, which I just released, and that explains this in detail. So today we're going to be talking about the router phone, how and why you should use it, and uh, yeah, just uh, more details around that. So if you have less than 10 phones on site, um, this is a great way to save some money and uh, you keep using your existing hardware, but also um, use that as a desk phone and an SBC at the same time. So what phones can you do this with? This, uh, you'll find the link in the description as well. Um, a lot of Fanvils, Snoms, and Yealinks, mainly the Yealink T4 series are a great option for that. Uh, and today we're going to be using the T43U, which isn't actually explicitly listed there, but most of the T4U series, you can use it. Alrighty. So, so a couple things to keep in mind. The phone must be online all the time. So if the calls are going to be routed to the router phone, if the phone is off, all VoIP traffic will be dropped. So a good way to use this would be someone uh, who's p potentially a receptionist, um, anyone who's going to be using their phone during office hours all the time. Uh, and the second thing is to keep in mind is to assign a static IP to that router phone. Um, so we had a situation where we've just put in a, in a firewall and when our router rebooted, it assigned a different IP address to our SVC, um, and it went haywire, so take notes. Alrighty, now jumping into our V20, v, our V18 instance. So our office is still on V18, we're just in the admin console here. Um, the first thing you want to do is you jump into your admin console, if you have system administrator privileges, and head over to users. Um, I'm just going to go in to my own extension there. I'm going to go into the IP phone tab and configure a phone. You're going to get this pop up asking you what you want to do. Let's select router phone and you can just search T43 straight away. Plug in the MAC address. Oh, sorry. There it is there. Handy tip, you can use Windows V to do that. Okay, cool. And let's pause it. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the phone. And as you can see, um, it is now present under the voice and chat tab as the router phone. However, that red light tells us that is not, it is not operational. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to the 3CX page for the firmwares. Um, we're going to search for the T43U. As you can see, boom, that's 108.86.0.77. Then we're going to head into the phone's web interface. So you can find the IP address on the phone by going to the status. Once you've hit it in there, go into settings and upgrade. And this will be different depending on which phone you use. And then you can just go browse, upload, the, upload that piece of firmware. And that's going to take a few minutes uh, to do that. Once you've done that, head back to your 3CX admin portal. And uh, boom, as you can see, we've got a green light there. Now when you assign your phones, you can link this to the SBC, and then now you'll have that secure traffic routing through your PBA. So that, that's us for today. If you've got any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at uc at bluechipit.co.nz, and we'll look after you. Thanks very much.